The advantages of a butterfly is it's a 21 gauge needle. It also has an extension on it. It's easier to see the flashback. And then we're gonna draw it up into a vacuette uh, and vacutain or tube so we can spin down our blood. First, we're gonna put on a tourniquet and have my patient lift up their arm. I'm gonna put this on the inside of the arm. I like to pull tight over here so it doesn't pinch your skin. I pull up over, I pinch, I then place this underneath, I then let go. You have to have the arm board in a good position to give support. I'm gonna have the patient open and close their hand. Close, open, close, open, close, open. Hold a nice tight fist. We're gonna do a little tapping on the arm here. You can see a nice linear vein here on the forearm. This is going to be the one that we're going to go ahead and attempt to draw from. I expect this should be pretty straightforward. I'm gonna do a little bit more tapping here. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually take an alcohol pad. We're gonna cleanse this area. Very nice. Do a little more tapping here. You can see the patient has some decent veins. So with the butterfly, what we need to do is there's some rippled edges here. The purpose of that is to grab these wings and that way your thumbs and your forefinger are actually on the ripples. That creates the bevel to be up. The next thing we're going to do is tap again and then my assistant's going to put tape on this to secure it afterwards. So once I apply this, you'll see the flashback come into the tube, okay? I'm going to support the arm. I like to take my thumb. I like to pull down on the skin. To, create some tightness to the skin so that way when I penetrate through the skin it holds the vein steady just like this insert 15 20 degrees into the vein like so and you'll see the flashback coming through the tube I'm going to insert this a little further my assistant's going to go ahead and put tape on there to secure it you can see we got the flashback through the tube we're going to put on what we call the adapter button. Sometimes it will bleed. That's okay. And now we're going to cleanse this area. Take this. I'm going to support this. You can see the flashback. We're going to take the actual, actual um, <clears throat> vacuette. We're going to insert it into the button. I'm going to take the tube. The patient still has a fist. And I'm going to go ahead and do this and pull up. And now you can see we're filling up the Vacutainer with blood. This gives you a little bit more access uh, in regards to mobility to move around. But once again, we like to remove these because they're rigid. So you can see the blood fill that we have. Best to always wear gloves. Once this is done, we will pull out the tube. If you need to fill up more blood, this is still connected. So I'm going to hand that to my assistant. We're going to remove this. It's I got a sharp, secure for safety reasons. I'm going to go ahead and lift up, take off the tourniquet first. Then we're going to go ahead and lift up the tape. I like to support this as I lift the tape so it doesn't come through or puncture or anything else. We're going to take gauze. It's got tape on already. I'm going to put pressure. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to put tape here like so. And then this has a protective mechanism, so if you pull this tube and you slide this yellow up, it protects the needle. For safety purposes, this is then discarded in a sharps container.